Here, come here. I'll show you what you're looking for. Uh. Yep, found it. <laughs> All right, come on, focus. I am focused. All right, so this one is called Lavandula Angustifolia. Lavender? Yes, well, I'm still paying off my student loans, so I will stick with Latin, mm -hmm. but you can call it that. Yeah, get your money's worth. Go for it. <laughs> okay, come on, give me your hands. <sighs> All right, so you want to put one hand around the flower. All right. And then put the other hand at the stem. Okay. Just like that, and then you pull nice and slow. Yeah, I pulled weeds before. Uh, excuse me, sir, this is not a weed. You have to be gentle. But apply pressure. Oh, yeah, but not too hard. <laughs> okay, ready? Mm-hmm. Go. There you go, that's perfect. <laughs> and it doesn't smell very good. Okay, you hold on to those and I'm gonna collect more. <laughs> so, uh, why lavender? Well, the guys at the lab are pretty excited. They, they think they have this subspecies, which might have mutated monoterpenoids, which produce a modified linalool that that is so, oh my, thank you, Einstein, thank you. <laughs> Sorry. It has a chemical that we can use to synthesize a new medicine for burn patients. Where I'm from, the only weed used for medicine is the kind that you smoke. You know, Boozer knows a guy with a farm that's about three miles up the road. Oh, that's great. Boozer's gonna wind up in prison and take you with him. <laughs> so what else do you guys make? Like chemical weapons, WMDs, shit like that? No, 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 no. Well, at least not me. Yeah? It's in my contract. None of my research can be used for military purposes. Hey, there's more over here! Wait, stop. Oh, come on, the water's yeah. gonna be great! Hold, hold on, hold on. What's wrong? Well, I, I didn't mean stop that. <laughs> come on, what is it? Well, that's okay. We can just walk. I like walking. So, why don't you tell me about your plants? Really? Okay. Well, this particular genus is adventitious. You want me to ask? It means not native to this area. You can thank Ogden for that. Who? Oh, shit, I asked. Peter Skeen Ogden, first explorer to come through this part of Oregon. He and some of the other early explorers brought all their medicinal herbs and plants with them. Some got away, and now they're growing here. Mostly along the shores of small lakes and ponds. First white explorer. Wow, look at you. Being all politically correct. Don't buy into all the biker stereotypes you see on TV. We are actually quite charming. I bet. The MC's got a couple of brothers. One fully patched. I don't think I've seen one person of color since I arrived in your strange little backwater paradise. Yeah, Jack actually had some guys bust in from Sacramento just to piss off our skinhead rivals. He did not. <laughs> no, he did not. I'm kidding. Jersey Jim's an old buddy of mine. Patched him and myself. We served in the same unit. Come by the clubhouse Sunday. I'll show you around. You like the guy. He's funny as shit. He makes a mean margarita. Well... I have to be in the lab early on Monday, so... I'll have us back in your bed by 10, I promise. How can I refuse an offer like that? Okay, you try picking some now. Lavender? You, you want me to pick lavender? Yep. And bring me three plants and don't crush them. Oh, I'm gonna crush them. <laughs> Come on. Uh, got one. Good for you. This one? Yep, keep going. Last one. Great, bring him here. <sighs> oh. <laughs> For you. Wow, gallantry is alive and feral after all. No, no. If it's <laughs> not, then I didn't kill him. <laughs> hey! Oh, 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 oh. Aww, poor guys. Hey, is that the one we're gonna smoke later? No, but this is the one we're gonna drink. I make this killer herbal tea with it. I'll bet. <laughs> <laughs> Hey. All right, if you come over, then I will make it for you, as long as you give me a ride home. All right, great. You're going to be a believer. And we'll grab a beer from myself on the way over.
Uh, sorry, uh, I'm a little out of it. Wait, you said something? It's, uh, it's something Sarah showed me a few summers ago before... Anyway, uh, there's a plant that grows out here called lavender. It grows in the shade, along rivers, lake shores. I'm gonna see if I can find some. Shit, brother. The way my arm's feeling, I'll try anything, but... Fuck the lavender, bring something I can smoke. Whatever, I'm gonna find some of this shit, I'm gonna make a burn sap out of it, and you're gonna shut the hell up about it. Yeah, okay. I'm sorry, brother, just don't stir crazy up here, you know? Uh, don't worry, booze man. We're riding north, I swear to God, not too much longer. You hear me? Yeah, now. That's grave. Why'd they bury this shit out here again? That's amazing. Uh, yeah, I do need some. Deacon out. Hey, Boozer. Uh, God damn it! Uh, it's a funny thing. I, I was remembering how uh, a few summers back, Sarah took me out to Bear Creek. To, we were picking lavender, and uh, she Listen. taught <laughs> she taught me how to make this sap for burns. And uh, look, I got out today. Okay, I actually had a look around the mountain. I cleared some traps. The arm's almost as good as new. All right. Okay. I'm just gonna leave it right here. Hey, hey, just give me a couple days, okay? Just we'll ride up north like you said and get out of this shithole. Sure. Yeah.
Deke, you there? Yeah, I'm here. What's up? We got hit. And hard. Rippers. A couple of dozen, maybe more. Goddamn rippers. That little gal you were so worried about? Yeah, Lisa. Wait, hold on. What happened? Where's Lisa? God. They took her and three others. Alki followed him as far as he could. But they're holed up at Belknap Crater. He came back to round up more men, but... God damn it! Okay, look, I've seen what those sons of bitches do to hostages. I'm not waiting. Was the girl. If you've hurt her, I swear to God. Who am I kidding? I'm gonna fucking kill you all whether you hurt her or not. Hang on, Lisa. I'm coming. What's this? Lisa's? Sure as hell don't belong to a goddamn river. Small footprints. Girl's size. It's gotta be Lisa. She was dragged through here. If you hurt her, you sons of bitches, I'm gonna kill every last one of you. Finally, Jesus. In here. They dragged her in here. Free rule the world, huh? Not if they're all dead. No, she's not in here. Where Something are you, Lisa? I don't she's got to be out here I somewhere. Use my knife. I want to make them bleed. Show them the path. 
No one is joining you! Hey, look. Now you're found, yeah? Hang on, Lisa. No matter what they do to you, just... just hang on. Lisa, I'm coming for you. This is a goddamn maze. Here, they dragged her up here. Lisa's gotta be up there. He's here! Lisa. All right, Lisa. Oh, Jesus, what have they done to you? Lisa. Lisa? Hey. Sweetheart. No! Hey, hey, hey! No! hey. Shut up, shut up! Lisa, it's me. It's Deacon. Remember? Deacon? 
Okay. All right. That's all right. It's all right. Come on. You okay? Damn it, can you run? Do you know where the visitor center is? All right, that's where my bike is. I need you to run air as fast as you can. Don't stop. Don't stop. All right, don't stop, no matter what. You ready? Huh? Go. Get to the visitor center now. Go. Get to my bike. Run. safe now. Are you okay? No. Listen to me. To the south of here, there's a camp at Lost Lake. It's nothing like the hot springs. Iron Mike, he's not like Mrs. Tucker. I hated Mrs. Tucker. <laughs> no, you wouldn't be alone there. This is a nice camp, and it's a safe place. Okay. Hold on. Ricky! Ricky, come back! Ricky, are you still on this channel? Lost Lake Camp, come in. Deacon? Ugh, long time no here. What do you want? Just... meet me, okay? On the Cascade Highway where it intersects with the old Belknap Road. I'm heading there now. You know what Iron Mike said? The night you and Booze rode out of here? Uh, oh yeah. That. Uh, listen! That's why I radioed you and not Schizo. Iron Mike doesn't even have to know about this. I got a kid here. What? Well, I mean, not a kid. Uh, a survivor. She's been out here a long time. A a you've got a survivor, and you're bringing her to Lost Lake. No, you're bringing her to Lost Lake. I'm bringing her to you. Ricky, you there? Yeah, okay. I'm on my way. Lost Lake out. Ricky? Uh, yeah, okay. You're welcome. You're gonna like it there, kid. Like I said, Iron Mike, he's, um, uh, he likes to yell a lot. Look, don't let him bother you. You got that? Uh, anyway, there's this guy named Schizo. If he bothers you at all, well, just tell Ricky. Or, uh, tell Addy. She's the camp's doctor. You tell her. And Addie's, she's good. She's got medicine. 
you know, to clean up those, uh, to clean up those cuts. I mean, you don't want to get infected. They're gonna help you out, kid. You can count on them, even if you, uh... Hey, Ricky. Hey, Deke. I'm surprised. What, did Tucker give up the slave trade? Uh, Lisa, this is, uh, Ricky. She's gonna, uh... Take you to a safe place. Nothing has changed, Deke. Iron Mike is not gonna pay you for this. Pay me for, oh, come on. That's not, excuse me. That's not what this is about. It's not about collecting a bounty or anything. You just, mm -hmm. you just take her. Huh? What's wrong with her, Deke? What's wrong with her? She was, had a run in with some rippers. I had to. Oh, my God. Hey, Lisa. Hi, I'm Ricky. Listen, do you like to go fishing? I love fishing. It's, it's my favorite thing in the whole wide world. Would you want to go fishing with me? Yeah? Come on, I'm gonna tell you about Lost Lake. It has the clearest water you have ever seen. And the fish, oh my God. The fish in the morning, they jump this high. I'll show you. When we go, we're gonna have such a good time. Make sure you hold on tight, okay? Ready? I really appreciate it. They're coming. Oh, they're gonna. They won't know. I mean, they're on me. Sugar? Oh, Wizard, what's going on? No! How'd you get in here? Whoa, 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 whoa. You stay right there! Wizard, it's me. Stay there. It's Deke. Let's just Don't calm you come down. any closer. Let's just I talk. will kill you. It's all right. Oh, oh my God! God. Give me the gun, buddy. No, I will not! Ah. Ah. Oh, shit. Oh, Jesus Christ. Boozer, what the fuck? I. I heard, I heard him. I heard voices. Oh shit! Oh, shit. You, you, you heard him, right? No, I didn't hear shit, Boozer. You no, got blood poisoning. I, I do not. Yes, you do, Boozer. Just take a look. I don't need to take a look. Come on, I'm, we gotta get you some help. Look, I don't need some. Come on. I don't need help. I'm sorry about that. About trying to blow your head off. I mean, I thought I saw something, you know? Easy. Hey, watch the steps. I got this. I mean, it was, it was in my head, you know? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I know, I know.
I could hear him, Deke. I, I could hear him, Deke. Footsteps just pounded in my head. Boots. Just a few more steps. I don't need any help. I can goddamn walk. I can walk. Okay. Okay. I, I just... I don't, I don't know what happened. I, I saw... Yeah. Now, come on. Come on. Get on. We gotta go. Wait. Wait, wait. What? Where are we going? I, I don't... It's just a short ride. Boozer. It'll help clear your head. Right? Yeah, yeah, okay. That'd be good. Yeah, okay. Where? We going? Deke. You remember when we first rode out of Farewell? What that was like? Yeah. I remember. The highways were they were all choked up with cars. There were so many people. All on the move, thinking that it. If they could only go fast enough, that they'd outrun what was coming. Yeah. No one could move fast enough, Boozer. No one saw it coming the way I did. So by the time they said, fuck it, you know, and started walking, and then running, it was too late. Too late. And I remember watching the freaks, watching them all come, thousands of them. And all those, all those dumb shits just got swallowed up. Yeah, I remember. When you see a thing like that, you know it's only a matter of time. Before it's our turn. Nothing's gonna stop it, Boozer. Not a goddamn thing, but... But do you know why we keep going? No. Because what the hell else are we gonna do? Yeah. are you doing? Nothing. Uh, figured you'd get all purdied up before heading in. Oh, uh, you know. Yeah, I figured I'd stop in the lodge, have a few beers, and just stroll into the infirmary. No, 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 no. I'm just, just sick of it. Uh, no. no, I don't care. I'm just fucking with you. Hey, Deke. Mm -hmm. I'm Mike said 
He'd kill you if he ever saw you again. Uh, and if he said that it... That old man doesn't remember his name half the time. No, no, no. Hey, He'll hey. remember. You gotta stay awake. We're off the open road, bit of a freaker oh, wonders yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, I know. Mm. All right. Hey, Deke. Yeah? Don't you kill anyone in the camp, okay? I'm not gonna kill anyone. You good? Never better. Not worth dragging me out here. Freaks. We're supposed to guard the camp, oh, not God wander around freaks. jerking off. Could have been rippers. Oh, against the two of us. Really? We could get them before they... No, 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 no. See, that's what we thought, too. Uh, me and this guy, Addy's brother, we went out on patrol. Uh, you know, not far from here, really. We kept to the shadows. It was night, but the moon was out. And you know rippers love the night. We heard him coming first. Shrieking like freakers. They were coming straight out of hell. God, that sound. There, there were maybe four we could see. So we open up on them. They don't, they don't even try not to get shot. Thing is, they weren't going down. They just kept running at us. My boy got one of them down, pulled his knife to finish the job. Shit, I should have told him to forget it. Two others climbed right on him and I fired. You fired? Yeah, I killed him. They were tearing him apart like goddamn freakers. I fired and got the hell out of there. So, you go after Rippers, you better have backup. Someone's here. Hey! Hey there! Yeah. What the? Wait, what? A rock? What the hell? What? Something's not right here. Everything's fine. It's just a tear. Shut up. Have you see anything? Something's wrong. Huh? What are you going on about? Someone's here. Anything? Nice and boring guard duty. Which should be. What are you gonna do later? I'm gonna try to get some sleep, that's what. That girl, Lisa, whatever, new one, she cries all the damn time. First few days, she kept me up all night. What's her deal? She just came in from the shit. What do you want? Shit. What? Even what? money? We kick her to the curb before a month's out. Iron Mike won't yeah. He what the? Someone's attention. throwing rocks? Does he even know she's here? I think she's hard to miss. She goes to cry all the time. Something's out here. What'd you find? How the hell are you gonna keep the peace yeah, with a bunch of crazy ass them. lunatics who cut themselves? How can you trust anything like that? That's debatable. Schizo's right. The only thing these assholes understand is force. We sign a peace treaty like we're the goddamn UN. We show them we're weak. Hey, what? Yeah. Hey, what the hell? Something's wrong. Someone's here. Someone's here. You see anything?
Something's moving. Wait, hmm. you saw something? The men in there, they were just attacked. Oh, shit. Iron Mike. Schizo. All along Son of a bitch. Like they were trying to scalp him. Raymond? And the men we buried? They were butchered, Mike. Butchered. Christ, it took us three hours to rake up all the body parts. I didn't want to leave them for the freaks. Raymond? It's Carlos, and you know it. We gotta hit him back, or the Rippers are gonna... Rip Schizo, leave it be. Just leave it be. And what about the next group, Mike? And the next? Hell, Carlos is already pushing into Rogue Camp. Camp Pioneer? There's no proof of that. They're moving up north. I heard one of those Radio Free Oregon broadcasts. Claims they yep. got hit by Rippers. So now you're listening Hell? to that nut I heard something. Coping. Well, he may be a nut job, but I think he'd know a Ripper if one was coming at him with a butcher knife. Something's here. not here but you can go in and see for yourself we'll come back you know Addie don't like it you snooping around in her business hey you said it not me I'm not laughing no, there it on. is I just come gotta find a way inside here. I want to talk to those men myself well, let's just hope they're still free Addie will take care of it you think uh, Addie and Ricky are a thing why are you trying to get with them or is this going in your bank and what about the next one I'm just curious not so hard. <laughs> ah, damn it. <laughs> Hi, Ricky. Hi, Addie. Uh, I don't want any trouble. So if you ladies just step aside, I'll show you. No, no, no. What, what the hell are you doing, are you doing in my no, infirmary? Uh. Oh, are you gonna shoot me now? <gasps> Oh, wait, wait, there's a code, right? You can't shoot a woman unless you have to. Well, now you have to. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, look, why don't you just let me explain? Check what's in the cooler. <sighs> what are you, selling narcotics for Tucker now? You know, when you brought me that girl, I thought you had changed. But clearly you haven't. No, it's not narcotics. What? It's antibiotics. Boozer's sick. He's got blood poisoning. I had no place else to go. Blood poisoning? What happened? Does it matter? I fucked up. Bring him in. Go and get him. Bring him here. No, we can't do that. Yes, we can. Look, I don't care who he is, and I don't care what Iron Mike thinks. When a man is sick, a man is sick. We have to look out for each other. Baby is all we got. Come on, I'll give you a ride. Which way we headed? You remember there was a small camp when we first rode into the valley? Yeah, I remember. You call this a bike? It may not be a fancy drifter bike, but it gets the job done. Get on. about the freaker sometimes, you know? Like... So, how's she doing? The girl that I brought in, Lisa. Are you, are you gonna take me to see her? No. God damn it, Ricky. What, what the hell? Why not? I can't. She's not here. Wait, wait. Hold on for a second. Where is she? A few days ago, Schizo assigned her to a scavenge run. She and three others headed over to the rogue camp to look for supplies. They came back without her. You're telling me they left her? They left her! Out in the shit? They didn't leave anyone. They said she ran off. Jesus! 
It could have been anything. Wolves, freaks, rippers. Choose your poison. And what, what, what was Schizo thinking, sending her out on a supply run? Everyone's gotta work, Deke. That's the deal, and you know it. I don't believe this shit. What? She'd been surviving in Marion Forks for years when I found her. Yeah, then maybe you should have left her there. Who's there? Hey. Get back, don't make me blow your goddamn Who's head there? off. It's me. No, get back! Oh. Hey. Hey, it's, uh, it's Ricky. <laughs> you remember me? I rode with you guys a year ago. Ricky. What? Tomo? Yeah. That's right. Tomo to the Lost Lake? Yeah. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. That's right. How, how you doing there, Boozer? You doing uh, all right? PG. It still didn't give you the right to steal our shit. Are you kidding me? Look at his arm. What was I supposed to do? Huh? I don't know. Maybe ask. Jesus. Look at you guys, the biker boys. The most badass drifters in this shit, right? And now you come back crawling to Iron Mike. Oh, wait. If he'll let you. <laughs> come on, just help me get him back to Addy. Let's go. Come on, Bill. I still need your help. <clears throat> Yeah, Boozer Ricky. Wait, where, where are we going? Addie said she's agreed to, to take a look at your arm and, and see what she can do. What? No. No, you're not taking me to some goddamn camp. I can ride, damn it. We're not sa Damn it. Boozer, it's just for a few days. Get some shit for your arm, and then... No. You know what it's like there, Deke. No, you're not thinking straight. This isn't the Hot Springs. This is Lost Lake. Iron Mike. Remember him? Iron Mike? He was gonna get us killed. He said... That was a long time ago. They built the place up. They, they got more people. We're all gonna fucking die. We'll be long gone before anything like that happens. Camp's got the only dock in a hundred miles. Now, Addie, just, look, she'll take care of it. Just, just a couple of days. Yeah, then we ride the hell out of here. Right north, like you said. Get the hell away from all this. Yeah. Yeah, we ride north. Leave all this shit behind. Okay, so I'm gonna go back and check on him and make sure he's okay. Coward. Yeah, you got that right. Well, how long? And until he can ride, I mean. You mean how long do you have to be here? Look, we have antibiotics, but it's not enough. If Iron Mike lets you stay, your friend will have a chance. So what happened? How'd he burn his arm like that? We ran into some rippers south of Belknap. Guess they didn't like his tattoos. Jesus. I've heard about him doing shit like that to themselves, but not to people they're trying to recruit. <sighs> Boozer wasn't any goddamn recruit. Uh, guess Tucker should have made a deal with him like Iron Mike. Come on, Ricky. He just He doesn't get it. Carlos isn't going to honor any deal with Lost Lake, not for long anyway, and Mike, he just doesn't see it. He sees more than you think. You've always had your good side, Deke. You've just been doing your best to kill it. Thanks for the vote of confidence.
You cannot believe a word he is going to say. Addy is soft. Mike, we do not have enough for those that pull their own weight, let alone a goddamn cripple. He's oh, not a cripple. On. He can work. He... I say we throw them out on their asses. Mike, that is not who we are. Jesus, listen to you. And you, you tired of being Tucker's little bitch, finally? Raymond, huh? stop it. Don't call me that. I'm pretty tired, all right. All right, See? enough! See? You know who the fuck this guy is, and you know what he- You hold on! And you! You put that shit away. Mike, Deacon was I one know. that brought me the good. I know. And I know what kind of man he is. What he's done. He done any worse than you? Ricky? How about me? We've all been out in this shit, Schizo. We've all done things we're not proud of. We need another rider. Oh, now, wait a minute. I just need a few days and some antibiotics. I'll do whatever it takes. Sure, Mike. Whatever you say, I'm on board. Walk with me. Don't you. start with me. So you're the one who brought them in. I didn't bring them in, Schizo. Boozer needed help. But he broke into the infirmary. The tackle shop isn't exactly... Ricky told me you stopped before. running for you Tucker. To fix that weeks ago. Sent that little girl here instead. Oh, so what? I'm you're sorry I lied Addy, to you so before go about go doing for runs for Tucker. Box. Isn't that your job? How long you been drifting? You and Bill. I don't know. Like I said, time gets lost. If folks don't put down some roots, figure this shit out, grow some food, come next spring, won't be none of us left. If you give Boozer what he needs, let us hole up here till he can ride. Like I said, I will do whatever you need. I just, I, I want you to know that as soon as he's patched up, we're gonna put together some gear, we're gonna ride north. North, huh? There's a camp up there near Smith Rock. Boozer's never been there. Anyway, got a lot of ghosts down here. It's time we move on. Fresh start, eh? Yeah, I can respect that. Now go on. Leave me be. I got some thinking to do. Sure, Mike. Yeah, whatever you say. Just have Ricky radio me if you need something. Hey, uh, I gotta ask you. I heard you riding in last night with Ricky, and, uh, who's that guy? Boozer. Or his name is William, or Bell. I I've always just called him Boozer. Don't ask why. I wasn't... I mean, is he gonna be okay? I stopped by to say hi to Addy. He didn't look so good. Yeah, he's gonna be fine as soon as he's patched up. We're riding north, you got that? 
So just drop it, okay? Uh, okay. See ya. Hey, you're here to trade, right? Mike's looking pretty busted. Deacon, hey, is everything okay? What's wrong? Uh, actually, that's not why I'm here. Okay. Came by to see if there's anything you need for the uh, infirmary. Actually, we're running low on everything. I mean, we could always use more meds, sterile bandages, instruments. Uh, here. Hmm. Liston knife. Yeah, it was used by doctors in the Civil War to perform operations in the field. Operations? Yeah, you know, when they didn't have any anesthesia or laudanum. I wrote down where you might be able to find one. <laughs> it's the brochure for the visitor center at Sherman Sherman's camp. camp. Yeah, yeah, the plate's crawling with all the freakers. I'll see what I can do. Yeah, uh, Deacon. Thank you. <laughs> I gotta find a Liston knife. Head to Sherman's camp. Place is gonna be crawling. Chopper that night. Yeah, 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 I know, okay, but first, you gotta do something for me. Wait, what? You need something from me? Look, there's a digital display on your radio. I'm going to send you a coded message, coordinates. Meet me at that location. Oh, Ryan, what the hell is this all about? Just meet me there. There'll be Nero soldiers all around me like before, so don't let them see you. Ryan out. So I'll come back later, burn out these nests. Dick, this is Tucker. You out there? Oh, oh shit, not now. Uh, Tuck, yeah, I'm here, and I'm guessing you got another job for me. So, okay, I'll stop by. Deacon out.
Here it is. Visitor's center. Gotta find a way inside. Now, where is it? God damn, it's gotta be close. somewhere down here not much left this place has been picked over clean listen knife this is it gotta get it back to Addy Got that knife you were looking for. Thank you. You have no idea how bad we need this. No problem. Glad to help. Open the gate. Hey, we don't want any trouble. Me and a couple of guys burned out of the nest a few weeks back. No, freaking nest. Um, a female came. Hey. Oh, here's that knife you were looking for. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. You. You're here to trade, right? Shit, you really need a lot of fuel. 
Go on. Get out of here. Murderers and thieves, the lot. Someone's trapped. Ah! We gotta help them. Oh, got him! Kill them! Get in there. Yeah, keep help! on running. Help! 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 He's got some heavy here. shit. Here. Look out! Help me! Help! Me. Oh. Gotta pull back. There we go. I got this. Hang on. Hey, hey, it's not safe out here in this shit. I know where there's a camp. Where? Where? I'll go. I'll go. Head to Lost Lake. Ask for Ricky Patel. She'll take you in. Thank you so much. I thought I was gonna die in there. Yeah, let them know it was Deacon St. John. They know me. Keep your head down and run. All right, I'm here. Jesus, don't... Don't sneak up on me like that. Did you find anything out about Sarah, about the woman that I put on your chopper? Nothing. Nothing? Hey, hey, wait, 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 wait. It's gonna take some time, okay? I'm risking my neck here. If anyone that, that back at HQ finds out, uh, those guys with the guns over there, You're they, all on the same question. team, O'Brien. Just looks that way. Look, I don't have time to explain it right now, but... It's why I need your help. My help? Just, look, just take it. It's a, it's a wavelength recorder and some GPS trackers. I just need you to... We're out of time. Look, I... Shit, I don't even know your name. Deacon, Deacon St. John. Well, look, Deacon St. John, if you want me to risk my neck helping you find whatever her name... Uh, Sarah? Then, yeah, I'm gonna need you to do something for me. Okay. Keep the radio close. I'll contact you in a couple of minutes. You don't even know my name? All you're gonna know it before we're done, O'Brien. And keep the radio close. It's been right here the whole time, you son of a bitch. Jesus Christ, how long do I have to wait now? Okay. Hello? Are you there, Deacon? Yeah, I'm here. Now, what's this all about? What do you want? All right, I put a blocker on this channel. It's secure. What do you want? I've sent a series of coordinates to your radio. I need you to go to those locations. What? Why? Just listen to me. There are several Nero task groups doing work in the field. I need to know what they're doing. Then why don't you ask them? I can't. Look, I said it's a long story, and I don't have time to get into it right now. Let's just say the men above me, way above me, are running a lot of field missions, all separate from each other. Nobody knows what anyone else is doing. So the world ends and you assholes carry on like nothing's changed. Where? I sent you the coordinates. Okay, Jesus, O'Brien. All right, I will see what I can do. Just get to as many of them as you can. There are active LZs, landing sites, sample drops.
drop off locations. Yeah, yeah, I got it. But you better have something for me, O'Brien. Yeah, yeah, I got it too. Hold on. Brian. Yeah, I'm here. What do you, uh... One of our helos is heading towards your position now. You have to follow it. Follow it? Why? Just, just go! Don't lose it! Jesus, okay. All right. What's going on, O'Brien? Why am I out here in the shit chasing choppers down for you? Their destination's classified. I'm locked out of their files. So I can't give you the coordinates to their LZ. You have to follow them in. Jesus, don't you guys have spy, uh, spy satellites? Shit like that? And not that I have access to, no. I told you one. Locked out. Yeah, I heard you. Don't lose them. Come on now. Can't let him get too far ahead. Gotta slow down. O'Brien, they're landing. Good. I have their coordinates now via your radio. You better go in on foot. On foot? Remember, you can't let them see you. O'Brien, I'm here. What do you want me to do? Each of these research units have a science guy, like me, guarded by a now. bunch of coons. I need you All to get right, close to the researcher. The, the wavelength recorder is set to the channel we use to record data. You record everything they're doing. Squad channel. Okay, so you want me to sneak into an LZ filled with heavily armed Kevlar wearing soldiers who shoot on sight so that you can spy on some asshole wearing a pocket protector? Pocket protector? Really? I have a fucking PhD, asshole. Yeah, which stands for piled high and deep. Do you still have the tracking devices I gave you? Well, I was gonna sell them, but most of us don't have access to shit like, you know, satellites. Jesus. Place one of them on their helo. Most all of these file missions include stops that aren't on the books. I'm gonna find out where they're going next. O'Brien. You don't need to ask. I'm already looking into what records we have about where evacuees are taken. O'Brien out. This just gotta be it. What the hell are you guys doing? Right here. What you're told, now shut it. Absorb damage 
make them extremely dangerous to approach. We've noted another few reports that over a thousand have been spotted in this area. Whatever is causing the mutation, it's spread rapidly. Long as it'll take. Anyone else here? Too damn long. That's how long. Something's oh, out there. The hell, O'Brien. <laughs> what's wrong? How long do you think? I'll tell you that what's wrong. Your boys were carving out the guts of a freak while it was still alive. They're not my boys. And what do you care? Aren't you a. What do you guys like to call yourselves? Drifters? Don't you kill the infected for money or whatever shit you barter with? Yeah, I kill freaks, but I don't carve them open while they're still alive and listen to them scream. Yeah, I got your data. Okay, I'm uploading it now. I'll be in touch. O'Brien out. O'Brien? O'Brien! Ah, God damn it, he did it again. O'Brien, talk to me. Ah, shit, you better be in touch, O'Brien. Nomads, how long you been up here, huh? Setting up ambushes, hitting supply runs. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth. She'll set you free. It's a heavy lot. I report six deaths and two injuries from my camp this week. More usual shit. Choppers. Let me tell you, everything I've been warning you about is absolutely coming true. I can't let any of them get out of here alive. Those choppers touched down. Some murderers. Wiped out an entire group of yeah. men yeah. and women who were screaming and begging for mercy. Yeah. Citizens of this country. Someone's and they here. cut them down. My men returned fire, but. Shit. Freak! Shit. Yeah. This won't be the last we hear of them either. They're hunting us down. Those of us who dare to survive and mess with their plans. There we go. Killing. Stay vigilant, people. For Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. You like killing drifters, is that it? How do you like it now? We got it. Almost out. There's another one. I've got you now, asshole.
Okay, one left. Always need ammo. I think that's it. Roads will be a little safer now. I mean, not much, but a little. All right, where did you hide your bunker, huh? I know you got one. Yes, here it is. A map looks like they marked it up good. <laughs> 